Welcome back everyone to video number eight in the Excel for Beginners tutorial. My name is Shane and today I want to go back a little bit and talk in more detail about formulas. Uh, you, you've seen some examples in my previous videos, but I want to take a deeper dive today and really discuss um, um, the symbols you use in building a formula. Uh, the first thing I want to point out is on row two. All formulas uh, begin with an equal sign. Uh, if you see here in my examples, everything that I've keyed in has an equal sign. Uh, that is a way of us telling Excel that, hey, what I'm about to enter after the print, after the equal sign is a formula, and I want you, you to treat it as math. So once you press the Enter key, uh, it'll determine what the result is. So the first, uh, the first symbol I want to talk about is probably the one you'll use the most, uh, the addition symbol, uh, add. How do you add up numbers? Um, again, we'll, I've shown you an example here, and then we'll actually enter the formula again, um, and we'll, um, we'll see what the results are. 3 plus 8, press the Enter key, and that gives us 11. Now, you may be wondering, hey, Shane, how did you enter the text equals 3 plus 8? Well, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, the magic symbol is the apostrophe. I'm going to press the apostrophe key now. And then I'm going to put equals 3 plus 8. And I press enter. The apostrophe key, if you, if you can see it up here in your formula bar, uh, the apostrophe tells Excel that, hey, I'm entering text. Anything after the apostrophe, I'll treat with text, treat as text, including the equal sign. So it's always that first symbol that's, that's important to Excel. So let's come back down here and we'll get rid of this formula, the text there. And let's move on to subtraction. How do you subtract two numbers? Equals 7 minus 2. The minus is the dash key. And if you find it, you can find it on your keyboard um, just to the left of my backspace key. Or I'm sorry, just to the right of my zero key on my standard keyboard. And if you're looking at a keypad, it's usually the button above and to the right of the 9 key. So that's what the dash key does. It's the subtraction key. So 7 minus 2, of course, is 5. Multiplication, that is the asterisk key. Uh, again, it's the shift 8 on your keyboard, and it can also be found above the 9 key on a standard uh, keypad. As with a formula, everything starts with the equal. 4 times 4 equals, press enter, 16. Division, how do we divide? We use the the forward slash key, and that's always that's found on the question mark key. Uh, it shares with the question mark key on your keypad. Uh, also, on my key keypad, rather, it is the key right above the eight. Uh, again, on the keyboard, it's the symbol that's shared with the question mark. So I want to press Enter. Six divided by three, or six forward slash three. Press the Enter key, and that gives us two. Now, one more symbol I want to talk about is an exponential uh, symbol. Um, most people re uh, refer to it as to the power of. Um, so here, for example, 2 to the power of 4. Let's plug that in. 2 to the power of. And again, I'm using this the Shift 6 key. That's, that's where the symbol can be found on your keyboard. Shift 6. 2 to the power of 4. Press Enter. And that gives us 16. Uh, exponential is basically saying um, four twos. In other words, two times two. Oh, I need to put my equal sign on it. Two times two times two times two. There's four twos there. Press the enter. Sixteen. Same result. So that's the power. That's the exponential key. Uh, most people call it to the power of. Um, it's a. It's a. It, it is commonly used. Um, just not very often in Excel, at least not in my uh, in my dealings when I when I use Excel. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about is the parentheses. Uh, these are the two curved brackets on your keyboard. Um, they can be found by pressing the Shift 9 or the Shift 0 key. Uh, Shift 9 is open parentheses. Shift 0 is closed parentheses. And what these symbols do is they give precedence in your formula. 
And the best way to show you is these two examples here. I want to go down to the first one down here on the last row, and I'm just going to key this in four, just like it's shown, four plus three times four. Press the enter key, and we get 16. Why do we get 16? Well, let's come back up here and let's let's dive into this formula exactly, and let's try to understand what Excel is doing. Um, Excel gives precedence in a normal formula. This is this is the order Excel. Uh, I'm going to type this in. Excel gives precedence. Precedence in this order. We'll come down here. We'll say multiplication, multiplication, and division is first, and then subtraction and addition. Addition, <laughs> addition last. So, in other words, when you come back to this formula, Excel says, okay, I'm going to take 3 and 4, and I'm going to multiply those together, and then I'll take whatever that answer is and add 4 to it. So that's how we come up with 16. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 4 is 16. Now let's take those same numbers, but this time we're going to interject our parentheses. So equals, open parentheses, 4 plus 3, close parentheses, times 4. Now what we're telling Excel to do is, hey Excel, I want to override your rules and I want you to add 4 and 3 up first and then take that answer and multiply that times 4. And of course now if we press enter, we get 28. So parentheses gives precedence to your formulas. It overrides these, these, these standard rules that are built into Excel where it normally takes multiplication and division first and then subtraction and addition later. It overrides them. That is the power of the parentheses.